affiliates. Jay Todd here with an interview for APCW from the floor of IGB Affiliate London. I've caught up with Leanne Johnstone, the very famous Leanne Johnstone from Affiliate Insider, and we're talking about recession-proofing affiliate sites. I, I, saw, I saw this on the agenda, and I was like, I've got to get an interview because this is something that never even occurred to me what was possible uh, that it was possible but it makes total sense you know the economy globally right now isn't the greatest so affiliates could do things to proactively protect their brand and their revenue absolutely so one of the, the key things that i'm telling most of the affiliates that we're speaking to here at this event is to really think about getting into the niches and um, i know everybody always talks about that but it really is important during the recession because affiliates are going to have to quantify what their value is and what their relevance is to operators budgets are being squeezed um, we're looking at ways to improve uh, automation and cut down on costs of resourcing so things like content rights Affiliates are already investing in AI technologies like ChatGPT, which has been a huge uh, topic here at this event. Um, but also just understanding exactly what the outcomes are that they need to provide to the operators that they're working with. So some of the key things that I'm advising affiliates to do right now is to double down on their tenures. So normally they would do like a month deal or a three month deal. Really start thinking about the partners that you have good relations with relationships with and starting to actually double down on those 10-year terms to secure the income that's coming into your business. The other thing is really understand what the value proposition is that you're going to be delivering to the partners that you're working with and getting very clear on what the marketing objectives are, what the outcomes are that the operators want you to achieve. So it's, it's we're going to move away from sort of mass marketing and spray and pray tactics and actually get more considered into how you fit into the operator's marketing strategy strategy and the value that you're going to provide there with them. Right, so when you're talking about you know, increasing your value, a lot of people would think that is synonymous with just finding ways to build your revenue. But in reality, building your value is, you know, can be anything from improving your branding to your SEO strategy to get more people on your site that doesn't necessarily immediately equate to you making more money, yes? Yes, I mean, I, I attended a really good talk with Deep CI, uh, which was just before me here at this event, and they were showing really significant numbers of how most affiliate managers always want to be on the front page of an affiliate site, but they're forgetting about the, the depth of pages that sit behind there. So really looking at your data stack and understanding where you can add value to partners and to, to advertisers or operators is incredibly important right now because a lot of these affiliate managers are getting squeezed. They are being given less less budget and being tasked with getting more. So go into those sales pitches with your account managers on the operator side and really understand what the marketing value and relevance is that you need to deliver so that you can meet those marketing objectives and become a key performance partner in their marketing strategy. Right, so it's uh, the key is, you were telling me before we came on, to keep building your brand and so it's more of a, instead of a, you know, when you said the, sh the shotgun strategy, just deliver, 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 you, you're, you're more coming from a foundational perspective to build that solid foundation and the logic being that the results will follow. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at 2024 with cookie deprecation coming into play. So affiliates really do need to start thinking about how do they build their brand through the recession period and actually do those long plays in terms of their marketing strategy. Because if they continue to spend and build branding, they're more likely going to grow their customer base as we move through the recession. And the other the other point to note as well is that, um, you know, during previous recessions that unfortunately I've lived long enough to live through, um, we've seen the results of like 50 to 70% of customers that spend on branding during recession and don't only focus on the performance side on actually the acquisition side, they actually come out a lot better faster after the recession so you're really taking that longer term strategy and thinking about how you're building your affiliate sites how you're building community around your affiliate sites and most importantly how you're going to be capturing leads because with deprecation coming in play in 2024 we're going to find a lot of the marketing strategies from the brands are going to change too because they're going to want to get more granular on where their customers are coming from and where the value customers are coming from there's a lot to digest there, but it's very, very important to start thinking about your affiliate business as a brand as well and not just a traffic supplier. Those are very, very wise words. Leanne, thank you so much for coming on. If someone wants more information or you run a great, uh, you run a great uh, newsletter, 
where can they go to sign up? Just sign up on affiliateinsider.com. It's right at the bottom of the page, easy to get to, and stay in touch with our community. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.